Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here back with another video. Today, checking out a bunch of tablets from Samsung. And that's a nice little change up. It seems that we've had a lot of Apple products in the studio lately. And these are the Galaxy Tab A tablets, of course, by Samsung. And these are the budget friendly option of Samsung's popular Galaxy Tab lineup. We'll do an unboxing and set up to see if these budget friendly devices are worth your hard earned money. As we're doing a dual unboxing here, we've got two different tablets. One is an eight inch model, retails for 280 bucks. The second Galaxy Tab A is a 9.7 inch tablet, fairly more expensive at $430, but as you can see, it also has the S Pen. Both of these models only have Wi-Fi. Both only have 16 gigs of onboard storage, which isn't too much. Both are also upgradable through a micro SD card. And lastly, both are in the same color, smoky titanium. Our first model, eight inches, a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor, 1.5 gigs of RAM, a five megapixel rear facing camera, and a 4,200 milliamp hour battery. On the other side, a 9.7 inch display, 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor, two gigs of RAM this time around, a five megapixel camera with a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. As we get to this unboxing experience, right off the bat, the boxes are made out of just recycled paper printed with a blue material. Not the nicest feeling boxes, of course. I'm obviously comparing this to the gold standard, which happens to be Apple's iPad. Hard to beat that, but these do feel a bit cheaper in the hands, and that's to be expected for a budget-friendly tablet. Opening up the first model, greeted with the Galaxy Tab A 8-inch tablet, and I want to say this is wrapped in some form of recyclable plastic. I'm going to say this is a spider web. That's what it feels like in my opinion. Who knows? Taking that off, stickers off, and there it is. And this is probably the cleanest this tablet will ever be. Fingerprint magnet, of course, as tablets always are, and I think I've already smudged this one. Damn it. Alrighty, second tablet, the 9.7 inch model. Once again, the unboxing experience is just as basic. Hashtag basic unboxing status, wrapped in that spider-like material plastic. Inside for both of these models, we just have the charging brick and the USB cable. Micro USB to charge, of course, as well as the user manuals and all the warranty info. Despite these tablets being slightly cheaper, I still love that unboxing experience. This 9.7 inch model, remember, comes with the S Pen. Naturally, as this is a Samsung tablet, both of these are powered by Android Lollipop 5.0 out of the box with Samsung's TouchWiz skin over top, which I've got a bit more accustomed to on the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. And yeah, it's a bit usable this time around. Not hating as much as I usually do. We've got two capacitive buttons, the multitasking, the back button, and the middle button is the standard physical home button. Very basic from Samsung, we've seen it all before. And on the back, smoky titanium, it's a soft touch plastic. Once again, comparing this to the gold standard, the iPad doesn't feel as premium as it isn't using aluminum. But here's a quick size comparison of the latest iPad Air. I'm guessing that's the two, iPad Air 2, against the Galaxy Tab A models. Size-wise, isn't as thin, but it does have the micro SD card, expandable memory, which I'm sure a lot of you will fancy. Setting up any sort of Android tablet is extremely simple. Just log in with your Gmail account and you can update a previously saved version that you've had on any Android device. So right now, all my apps are downloading in the background, but as I'm using this, a tad bit of lag as I'm switching through between the screens. 
That's to be expected as it does have TouchWiz, plus it doesn't have the highest specs inside. But other than that, I think it was fairly smooth in the short amount of time that I've used it. Of course, wait around for the full review once I've used both of these tablets a bit more in depth. These were the Galaxy Tab A models. Let me know what you think of them down below in the comments. And if you already haven't, be sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll have my full review of these posted within the next couple days. And if you guys like this video, you want to be super awesome, be sure to smash that like button and I'll catch the rest of you in my next episode. Peace.